Hi! In this series of screencasts, we are pleased to introduce you to programming of computer vision algorithms on NVIDIA Jetson platform. Today, we are going to learn how to build and run the simplest application that uses OpenCV. NVIDIA's Jetson DevKit is a leading platform for embedded computer vision with a focus on low-power, high-performance applications. Jetson provides users a friendly, Linux-based development environment for deploying GPU-accelerated software. It's built around NVIDIA's Tegra system on chip and features a massively parallel CUDA GPU with hundreds of cores, as well as the latest multi-core ARM CPU. With Jetson and the performance of CUDA, it's possible to process more sensor imagery in real time. You can attach a monitor, a mouse and a keyboard to a Jetson and work on it like on a regular PC. But we're going to use SSH to get access to the board throughout the series. Regardless of which way you choose, it should be pretty straightforward to follow the screencast. In the former case, simply open the terminal instead of using SSH. So first of all, let's log in to our board via SSH. We provide the capital X option so that we'll see the X windows that will be opened on the board. Ok, OpenCV comes pre-installed on the Jetson platform as part of the Jetpack package. So basically, we need only a text editor to write the code. In this series, we'll use Midnight Commander. If you don't have it already, it's pretty easy to install using the apt-get utility, or you can use any other text editor of your preference. Now we're ready to write our first OpenCV application. Following the ancient programmer's tradition, let's make it a Hello World application. OpenCV comes with a handful of functions for drawing and image I.O. that are part of the high GUI module, so we need to include it. Next comes the main function. The primary class in the OpenCV library is Math, which is short for Matrix. It is very versatile and has a lot of uses, but for now you can assume that it simply represents an image. Let's create one. First we should specify the number of rows and columns. Then the type of pixels in our image and initial value. C3 in the type means that we want the image to have three channels. We will use those channels to store the RGB values. 8U means that each channel should be represented as an unsigned 8-bit integer value in the range from 0 to 255. Now that we have an image, we can draw some text on it. We will use the putText function for that. The first argument is the image we want to draw on, then we specify the desired text. Next comes the position of the top left corner of the text box. And then we specify some information about the font we want to use. Its name, scaling factor, color, and thickness. To display the image on the screen, we can use the imshow function. The first parameter is the name of the window and the second parameter is the image to display. Lastly, we need to add a wait key call so that the application will wait for a key press before exiting. Ok, we're finished with the source code for our application and now we need to build it. The simplest way is to use CMake for generating build files. We'll use apt-get once again to install it on the system. With CMake, what we have to do is to specify the source files and dependencies of the project in a special CMake list file. First, CMake expects the scripts to specify the minimum required version for them to run, so let's do that. Then let's declare the name of the project. Then we'll specify that our project has a single executable which we want to name CV Hello. After the name, we provide the single source file we have, Hello CPP. Ok, this is the simplest CMake script to build an application, but it won't work for us as is, since we need OpenCV header files and libraries to build it, so let's take care of that. We will ask CMake to find OpenCV on the system, as it is located in the default directories, find package will work out of the box without any further configuration. After it finishes, it will set two variables, one of them is OpenCV include this, which contains path to directories where OpenCV header files are located, and the other one is OpenCV libs which contains paths to OpenCV library files. For compiler to know about the header file directories, 
we need to call include directories function prior to add executable call. As a last step, we will use the second variable to specify that CV hello executable should be linked against OpenCV libraries. All right, we're almost there. Now we should only call CMake to generate a make file for us. Call make to actually build the executable and run it. That's it. Hello, OpenCV on Jetson.